so <laughs> hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so I'm really excited to film a new makeup tutorial for you guys I'm thinking of doing something like greeny bluey like a peacock kind of thing because I've got this glitter that I really want to use so I'm just gonna like go with it and see what I come up with so I'm gonna start off with my face makeup and I'm gonna use the Embryolisse Le Creme Concentré to moisturize my skin and make sure to bring this down to my neck because I will be putting some foundation on my neck as well so if you want to prime that would be the next step but I don't really like to use a primer because to be honest, I feel like primers don't do much for me, or maybe I just haven't found one that works well for my skin. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 220, and I use about two pumps of this foundation because it's really light coverage. And I usually apply my foundations with a pointed foundation brush. And then I'm buffing my foundation in with a 104 buffer brush from Zoeva. And then to conceal, I'm using my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 3.0. And I've actually just started using this properly recently. And I don't think they're available on her website, but I'm not sure. But have a look because they're really, really good. Like, they're good for concealing and they're good for um, highlighting as well. So I'm going to dot this under my eyes. And then I'm just going to buff it in with the same brush. This is a Zoeva 142. And I just brush over what's left on the brush over my lids because I have a lot of veins that show. And then I'm going to take some more and just conceal my scars and like any spots with the same concealer and the same brush. And to highlight, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the colour Natural. And then the more you bring in your highlight, the narrower your nose will look. And then to blend that all in, I'm using my Zoeva 125 Stippling Brush. And I really, really love this for blending out my highlighter. And to set under my eyes, I'm going to bake with my Vichy Derma Blend Powder. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with NC40 Studio Fix Powder from MAC on a Eco Tools blush brush. Or just anywhere I haven't baked. Well, not anywhere, just my cheeks and jaw area. The reason I'm doing this is because the foundation give, didn't give me that much coverage, so I want more coverage, and this is a foundation powder. And then I'm taking NC20 powder on all the high points of my face. And now I can brush off the powder under my eyes. And now I'm going to use my cream contour kit from Anastasia and I'm going to use the darkest colour over here. And this is chocolate. So I'm going to contour with this colour. I've been loving this cream contour these past few days it looks natural I know this doesn't look natural but it looks a lot better than powder and then forehead and temples as well to blend out my contour I'm going to use the same brush as before the stippling brush I'm going to move on to my brows now and for my brows I'm using my dip brow pomade as always in medium brown and a spoolie and my 317 from Zoeva and you guys have seen me do my brows like a million times so I'm gonna cut this bit out so I'm starting off the eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in the colour Eden and I'm just using my Zoeva concealer buffer again 
just to apply this all over the lid. So I'm making sure to bring that primer right into the inner corner and under my lower lash line as well. I'm going to set my primer now with this colour here from the Meet Matte Nude Palette and this is just to set the primer so it's really easy to blend the eyeshadows once they're on. Next I'm taking a transition colour and this is Riff from Urban Decay and I'm using that on the same brush as before and this is going right above my crease. Because this look is going to have a lot of cool tones on the lid area, I want to keep some warmth in the eyeshadow so this transition colour is going to do that for me. I forgot to do this earlier but I'm going to use some sellotape to create a nice sharp line here. And make sure to take some on the back of your hand first. Next I am taking the colour Fringe from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm putting this on the outer and the inner corner of my eyelid and this is a 234 brush from Zoeva. And I'm winging this out a little bit as well. And then on the same brush I'm taking this blue colour here uh, this is from Makeup Geek, I think it's called Mermaid but I'm not quite sure. I'll leave the name um, of the eyeshadows in the description but anyway. I'm using this in the centre of my lid. It's just a tad lighter than the colour we used before. And then I'm using this really well loved palette from Sleek and I'm using this dark colour here. Please don't mind the state of this eyeshadow palette, I've had it for years and I love it so much. And I'm just deepening up the outer and inner corner because that fringe colour was a good base. But now we need to make that darker and add a little bit more depth to the look. And I think I'm going to connect the two as well. And then I'm going to blend that out with a MAC 217. I'm going to take a little bit of the dark blue colour on the tip of my 217 to just sort of smoke out the crease a little bit more. And it's really good to do this with a blending brush because it just diffuses the colour as you're applying it. I do quite like how that looks right now. But I think I'm going to deepen up the crease, just the outer bit of the crease. Um, I think I'm going to use black. I hope this goes well. I'm gonna smudge it in the outer corner. Okay, so it's time to take off the sellotape. And then on my lower lash line, I'm using a green. I'm gonna go for this one here, which is Emerald from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna use a small flat brush for this. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit with a Lux Defined Crease Brush from Zoeva, a 224. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of this colour which is Freak from Urban Decay. You could leave this look here, put a little bit of highlighter on, liner and lashes and be good to go. But I'm going to put some glitter on because I really want to. Just before I do that, I'm gonna highlight with So Hollywood from Anastasia. And just in my inner corners. So I'm gonna apply my um, adhesive, and this is the Urban Decay Starlight Glitter Adhesive. They don't do this anymore, but um, I haven't actually tried it myself, so this is the first time trying it. Let's hope this goes well. You could actually use lash glue, but it's just a little bit, might be a bit difficult to get off. Oh, that's so pretty! Now I'm taking some of this glitter on the smaller brush we used for the lower lash line, and I'm just going to push it onto the glitter adhesive. It helps to tip your head backwards. So you get as little glitter fall out as you can, but as you can see, I've already failed at that. Glitter is just so messy, it's why like I hardly ever do it. 
but it just looks so good as well oh guys so to give you a little bit of an update on things i ordered my vlogging and beauty camera so expect to see better quality pictures and a vlog coming soon on my channel so i'm gonna line my lash line using the 24 7 liquid liner from urban decay Sorry I'm using so many Urban Decay products again, it's because I used to work for the company, I have so much of their makeup. Yeah, anyway, um, liquid line is so much easier to work with when you've got glitter on, because our gel is just like so annoying. Oh my god, I already made a mistake, what the heck? Uh, just gotta work with it, I guess. So I'm just going to pat some of that black eyeshadow on top of the liner just to mattify it a little bit. I'm going to put some black eyeliner in my waterline as well. And then to diffuse that black, I'm just going to use a smudger brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow. Just push that along my lash line. And I'm not sort of like blending it in with the green too much. So I'm curling my lashes now. I'm gonna apply some waterproof mascara to make sure my lashes stay up and curly. For my lashes, I'm gonna use the Ardell 113s. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure these and then trim them if I need to. So I think they're fine as they are, so I'm not gonna trim them. Just gonna apply some glue and put them on my eyes. Oh my god, I forgot to curl the lashes. No, I need to curl the lashes first. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my face again. So I'm going to take my Anastasia contour kit. I'm taking Havana. I'm just going to sort of go over where we already contoured, but really, really softly. Guys, I'm so confused as to why the lighting just changed. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know what to do about it. But um, I'm going to take this colour, and this is Peaches and Cream, and I'm going to use this as a blusher. To highlight, I'm going to use So Hollywood from Anastasia, of course. And I'm just taking some of that on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge, and Cupid's bow. I'm putting some of So Hollywood on my lips because it like makes the gloss look more glossy. For my lips I'm gonna use Naked 2 Lip Liner from Urban Decay. I'm just gonna use this lightly. And then I'm gonna use the matching lipstick which is Naked 2 and this is the perfect nude. Don't forget to spray your makeup with setting spray. This is the all nighter and it works amazingly. That is the completed look. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. Uh, thumbs up the video if you did and leave any comments. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Snapchat. They're both nm.ahmed. And that is all. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Mwah.